Hey, what's going on everyone? Sean from All Things EV here, and over the last couple of days there's been a lot of chatter online with these snowstorms going through the US that electric vehicles are no good if you get stranded on the highway for long periods of time. And because I'm a longtime electric vehicle owner, as well as a lot of my friends, we all know that's not true. Electric vehicles are actually really efficient at standing still and use very little energy. But there's a lot of misinformation out there, and some people who are just really quite ignorant about how electric vehicles work. So I decided to run an experiment yesterday. I pulled the car out of the garage, my 2013 Model S with no heat pump, and uh, pulled it onto the little, little carport area next to my garage, left the HVAC running, turned the HVAC to 60 degrees Fahrenheit, put the seat heaters on its highest level, level three, and put it on camp mode, which turns off the screen but allows the HVAC to continue to run and not turn off. And uh, that was more than 24 hours ago. So uh, what I want to do is talk about how much energy it does use. And if you were in a situation where you were stranded on the highway like some of these people were for uh, 10 and 20 hours, would you have fared okay, would you have been safe or would the battery have died in these cold temps? Now, yesterday I started the experiment at 10 degrees Fahrenheit, pulled it out, um, and uh, it did warm up, but it didn't get above 27 degrees uh, the entire day, the sun set. The interior of the cabin, I noticed, even though the HVAC was set at 60 degrees, did end up fall it, falling into the 40s in the interior, so I bumped up the HVAC to 65 degrees, left that running um, for another 12 hours, so the first half of the experiment it was set to 60 degrees. Uh, around 8 p.m. last night, I did bump it up to 65 because I felt like uh, maybe that was a, a little bit more of a realistic situation. And um, so we're gonna go out to the car and check to see how much energy it used. I started off at 90%, uh, which was uh, about 197 miles on the battery, or at least that's what it, sh it showed on the display. And, um, uh, I did preheat the car for an hour before I unplugged it and started the experiment, so it's good to know that the battery was kind of warm, but I felt like that was sort of a, a realistic situation there. If you're going to go on a road trip, let's say you're going to go to the mountains and, and ski, you're probably going to be driving for a little while, and the battery is going to be warm. So uh, that's the that's the current current situation. So let's go out to the car and see what we've got with remaining range. Okay, so as you can see, I did put it on camp mode, and uh, so which means that it, it turns the, the screen off, uh, but allows the HVAC to continue to run. So let's tap that to dismiss camp mode and see how much range is left. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, HVAC set to 65 degrees Fahrenheit, seat heater or bacon on three, as I like to call it, and uh, it is 8 40 in the morning. I pulled the car out yesterday at around 8, 8, 10. And the remaining range on the car is 144 miles. So I've lost a little more than 50 miles of range since I pulled it out of the garage and left it running. Now I think this is a really great use case to prove that electric vehicles are fine in the cold weather. Do they lose range when it's cold? Yeah, absolutely, but uh, gas vehicles lose range when, they're, when the engine is running. And if the engine's going to be running on the highway sitting in a stationary place, you're gonna lose range or use gas in a gas vehicle. And what really matters is what you start your, your total range at when you get on the highway and get stranded. Now, if I would have started my experiment at 50 miles of range left on the car, 
The car probably would have been dead, but most electric vehicle owners leave their house starting with a full charge or 90% charge or whatever you leave it at, and most people are going to be fine. In this case, if I was on a road trip uh, and I left the house with 197 miles of range, quickly or soon after I got on the road, got stranded, I would have been okay, I would have more than enough range to get to wherever I needed or head to a charging station once the highway cleared up. In this case, I probably could have uh, been stuck on the highway for more than um, 48 hours, Pro probably three days on, on the, stuck on the highway and not had any issues with, with surviving in the car and uh, getting to where I need to be with enough range to charge. So do electric vehicles have any issues? Will they die on the highway with 16, 20, 24 hours uh, stranded on the highway? Probably not, especially if you are leaving your house or leaving your desk, your, 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 your starting point uh, with a full charge or close to a full charge. So I hope that helps. And if you're considering an electric vehicle, as long as you're charging the way that you should be charging, leaving your starting point with a full charge or close to a full charge, you really shouldn't have any issues and uh, electric vehicles are are going to be fine. I, I, w I should also mention that if you're in a cold region, uh, it would be foolish not to have some sort of blanket, some sort of emergency uh, uh, blankets in your car just in case you do get stranded and you lose power in your car. Uh, even gas vehicles are susceptible to running out of gas if you're going to be stranded for a long period of time. So it's it's a good practice to have some of those things in the car just in case uh, it'll increase your chances of, of survival. But that's, that's pretty common uh, for anyone in a cold region, hopefully. And if not, then I hope you go out and go get a, an emergency blanket or blankets uh, for that off chance that you uh, do need it and your car does die. So Sean Mitchell, All Things EV. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.